Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. In today's video, I am going to go over a pick a card worksheet questionnaire that I put together to help you achieve your goals and dreams. This video is going to be a little chatty, so you know, um, you know, get your tea or your coffee or whatever. But I want to just share some things with you. So basically, for those of you who don't um, really know me, you know, of course you don't know me. I, um, I've done a lot of things in my life. Like I'm, I'm in my mid fifties, and I, uh, I have a, a G, I took a GED out of high school because I, I thought it was super boring. I skipped a lot of school. I have an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, two master's degree, and a doctorate degree, and um, I've written probably and published maybe over 10 books, and um, as you have seen on my channel, I've created a lot of life-size uh, fabric sculptures, dolls. I love to make dolls, and I love writing, you know, I have fiction books, non-fiction books, so I'm telling you just to say that... You know, I'm the type of person that when I say I'm going to do something, I'm pretty good at doing it. I'm pretty good at, you know, completing goals, like setting a goal for myself and completing that goal. And I want to help you do that for those. Some of you are just, you know, you're watching for entertainment purposes. You're not really trying to, you know, maybe get a degree or, you know, or complete a goal. But for those of you who are and you're looking for some type of action plan, a way to really help you get there. I got some good stuff. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I got some good stuff. I believe that we receive help on so many levels from so many, like we don't do anything by ourselves. Sometimes when I'm sewing, I can feel my um, my ancestors, my deceased grandmothers guiding my hands. Like I'm like, how did I come up with that idea? Where did I get that from? So long story short, what I want to do is give you some tools. So you're going to see like a slew of videos, and I hope they're going to be very short, of the things that I use to help me get into the writing mood, help me clear my energy with the different oils and candles and gemstones. And oh my God, I got some really good like beauty coffee. And I have this, this, you know, all kind of mixes that I use. And I want to share it with you because maybe you don't know that they exist. And maybe you think that is you. Because sometimes I think we think it's our willpower, but you might, you might need a good candle child. You might need some oil. You might, you know what I'm saying? You might need a little help from the, from the other side. And sometimes you might want to get rid of some of those beings over there. But anyway, that's another story. So Anyway, on this on this questionnaire, that's on my website, and you can click the link. I think it's over here, somewhere. And click this link, and you can download this worksheet. And um, what I have on here, and you can use it for other channels as well. I mean, of course, I love a good pick a card, and I have my favorite readers, and and I always get something out of them. Some people I, I enjoy because they're entertaining. And, but you know, the readings don't necessarily pertain to me, but I love them. And then there are people who like hit the nail on the head every time. And I don't know if it's because it's just, I don't know, because I always feel like everything is about energy. And so the very fact that you chose that person and that was an exchange of energy and that was the information that you were looking for at that time. So I want to tell you a little bit about the worksheet that I have here. And it's just so that... When you are doing your pick a card readings that you feel like you are i'm going to tell you what's on here because i know you probably didn't read that so i want you to feel like you are not wasting your time and that you there is an energetic exchange of information that is going to help you um excel and you know help you accomplish your dreams help you move to the next level so um on the first page i think i just you know, I have like the or the Oracle and Tarot card reader's name. And you can just like for the next three people where you listen, you know, that you listen to, I want you just to write down their name and what the topic was. But I want you to also think about like what is your primary goal at this time? What are you looking to achieve? Who do you alter what um do you ultimately want to accomplish? Like when you go into a reading, 
I know sometimes it just seems like it's just for entertainment purposes, but to some degree, you should kind of like know what issues you're working on. You know, what, like what, what's going on in your life that maybe this can give you a little bit of insight. So um, keep always keep that primary goal in your mind. Like, so then I have list three to five issues that you are concerned about. So like, again, you might be worried about your job and you might be worried about whether a friend is being true to you. And you might be worried about if someone um, reciprocates your feelings, the same feelings that you have for them. So there may be several things that's kind of laying around in your life that you're a little concerned about. Like have those, you know, you want to jot those down because the reading that you are listening to, it may not even, it may not resonate for the primary one, but for another part of your life, it may hit you like a ton of bricks. Like, oh, okay. So this is what I need to think about. So I have um, just the, the five, the three to five things that's, you know, just kind of that you're working on. And so that when you're watching, this is going to help you tune in to your pick a card reading. Um, and know, like if you don't really, if you don't really focus your energy on what it is that you're trying to get out of it, it's, you're all over the place. No, I'm not going to say you're all over the place. So what I mean is you don't know if the reading is a good reading or a bad reading because you kind of don't really know what it is you're trying to get out of it. But always but by you being aware of what issues you want to address and, and to heal and, you know, where what areas you need to grow in, that's going to make you get so much more out of your readings. And then I also have what resonated with you in this reading of course so I want you to jot that down and then what did not resonate with you because I want you to jot that down because you might come back two weeks later and say dang you know what I'm saying so just keep you know just get something out of this girl this is fun I mean when I do uh, my readings I put a lot of I'm not quite sure that everyone does but it's spiritual work and sometimes the spirits are like really strong and I have visions and sometimes, you know, it's just more intuitive. But when I do a reading and I'm just sure, I'm sure that everyone else is doing readings, you know, they're all giving you a piece to the puzzle. Um, what do you need to do to benefit from this reading? What changes do you need to make? What actions are you going to take in the next three days? That is why I create this question and this one question here is so important to me that when I do a reading for you and I, want, I really want you to get something out of it. But what if you don't know that there's a good oil <laughs> or a good candle or a good gemstone or maybe you need to go work on your wisdom area in your home and you don't even know where that's located or didn't even know that you could do that. You know what I'm saying? So to me, for me to give you a whole bunch of pick a card readings without giving you tools to achieve these goals then I don't know this it's like you know I got some good stuff and I want to share those things with you so basically after this video you are going to see a slew of kind of product I don't want to say they're product reviews because these are things that I actually use and actually believe in but I want to share like my really good oils with you my good candles I have some child I got some good stuff and I really do want to, you know, hip you up to it. And if you choose to use some of these things, you know, fine. If not, you know, I, um, but I really feel like, I, you know, I have learned so much from the Internet about different herbs and spices and oils. I wouldn't have known half of the things that I know if it was not for the people sharing on YouTube. So I want to share some of the things. And then. What chakra should you focus on to help you align with your overall goals? Like, for example, um, if you're a writer, you probably need to work with your throat chakra, which is responsible for your communication and expressing yourself. But also your third eye, especially if you are a science fiction writer and you need to use your imagination. This is so important. I got to get oil for that. Your crown chakra is connected to your higher self because maybe... You're not aligned with your soul purpose or the area that you really need to focus on. Um, anyway, I don't want to go through <laughs> the whole list, but these are things I want you to think about in, in your readings. Um, which area of your home should you make changes to to help you align with your goals? Like, I'm a really big feng shui person. 
like just recently I want to work work on my wisdom area I've, I've always worked on all of my areas but when I'm going through something or when I'm uh, changing or growing you know I go back and I throw things away and I update it so I've really been focused on my wisdom area um, I just my brother painted a picture of Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass which are absolutely gorgeous and I have them in my wisdom area because <laughs> they were all about their business y'all and um, so that's a change and then I, I have this King Solomon wisdom oil oh my god I'm just giving you all this stuff this video is getting too long but the point is I'm gonna go over I'm gonna review all of those objects separately but basically I want to tell you I think I have some videos already on my channel about the different feng shui areas but I think I have a few more to go but it's when you if you are trying to achieve a big goal like when I was working on my doctorate degree oh my god that was a lot getting the right people to chair your committee there is some good stuff for that a lady that I work with actually when well, she dressed a candle I didn't even know what dressing a candle was to help move me to help me connect with the right people um, when you are working on big goals you work on that goal on not just the Oh, I'm just going to study really hard. And do it. No, you have to make sure the right people are in your life. Make sure that you are studying the right material, that you have the right resources, you know, things like that. And there's a lot of energy around to help you achieve your goals that I want to share some of that with you. So um, what items can possibly aid you? I think I spelled aid wrong. I think I, I do. I think I spelled aid wrong. But anyway, I'm not going to change it right now. And achieving your goal write them down below so when I say what things that you need do you need a gemstone do you need oils do you need candles uh, a goal without a deadline it's just a dream so this is why I want you to get something out of the pick of cards even if it's a silly pick a card like your inner seductress or your inner demon or your inner bully or your inner thug I mean usually there's always a message there um, and it's always something there to help you like recently I forgot, I can't remember her name. Um, but I was listening to a pick a card, and I think it was something that the title was something like, Who's Spying on You? And she gave a description of a person that I knew 100%. And I was like, Let me go get a protection candle. So I went and got myself, um, burned my protection candle, went and sage my house, got some good stuff, protected myself, sent this person some love and light. Like, you know, like, look, whatever bounces, whatever you're doing is going to bounce off me and bounce back on you, child times though but anyway that's a whole nother story so th this is you know when I listen to my readings um, and it's something that really resonates I really tune in so that I can you know <laughs> take care of it so I also have a four-week action plan I made these changes. so basically you have week one you're gonna say what you're grateful for like you, you know it's just really good energy to tap into and then you're gonna say I made these changes to shape my future so let's say you do a reading on I don't know what's blocking me so the first week you you know you buy your gemstones or you buy oil or you do a mantra or you say these affirmations or you you know these are the changes that you're making you gotta say what you're grateful for and you're gonna say the changes that you're making and then after I have one for week one two three and four and then after the month or 30 days you're gonna go back and say and look you know and see how your readings are helping you move forward in your life now, um, I went to a person, I don't like for people to tell me what to do unless I feel like that person has experienced it. Like, you know what I hate? I hate it sometimes when I am watching like videos, like somebody may have a channel on how to improve your views or how to get more views. But I want to see your cooking channel. I want to see your art channel. I don't want a channel about getting more views telling me to get more views when that topic is already a good topic because everybody is looking to you you know it's kind of like people write a book about making money and they don't have any money and they're making their money off of the book like I feel like I, I like to listen to people who I feel like have that skill set that I'm trying to acquire so that's what I when that's what I was trying to say when I was telling you about the um you know, like about my degrees and my books, um, because 
I'm really good at accomplishing my goals. Like I'm really good at like putting on blinders, not answering my phone, not talking to people and sitting down and just really completing a goal that I've set for myself. And I have, you know, a meditations that I do. There's a lot of things I do to really, to, you know, to help me write those books and help me finish those degrees and help me, you know, make my videos um, and work a full-time job. So, and I want to give some of those things to you. So anyway, in this video, I just wanted to introduce to you my pick a card worksheet to help you align with your goals so that when you're watching these videos, you have some idea how you're going to use that information to um, improve your outcome, improve your ability to achieve your goals with having the right tools, right? And then in the next few videos, I'm going to go over some things that I think will help you, um, that you can actually jot down on your questionnaire. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.